Hey guys, based on the popularity of the last principle video, I'm going to actually demo you how drivers work in principle. So what are drivers to, be, to begin with? Well, drivers are really simple. It, what they basically do is that they drive different objects or layers behavior based on a particular <coughs> object or the interaction on that object. So without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to create a circle here. So we have a circle. I'm just going to change the background to something like this. And I'm going to create a rectangle here. So now we have a rectangle and we're just going to go ahead and we're going to change the color to something like this. Maybe it's bright, something bright like this. And what I want to do is, here is if I, let's say, move this particular uh, circle horizontally I want the color of this box to change like that's just something that I've done I, I want to do just to show you how this works so in order to enable a driver we basically have to change the horizontal and vertical properties here so by default it's static if it's static the driver does not work but then I can say I want this driver to work on a drag animation so I can say if I'm actually dragging this object something should happen here so I'm going to say by default, nothing should happen. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to say that this layer, <coughs> this layers, let's say, color is going to change. So I'm going to say by default, the color is going to be what we see here. But let's say if I drag this object here, maybe at 75, the color of this layer should change to green. Similarly, if I draw, drag this object somewhere here, 310, the color of this object should change to maybe purple and that's all you need to do to enable the driver and now as you can see if i'm actually moving it left and right the color is changing because i've mentioned what the states should be and obviously if i move it way far then the color is going to remain to what i've defined but that's how you basically create a driver you can go ahead and add multiple drivers to a single object so i'm just going to go to my initial position and i'm going to say that i also want to add a horizontal driver so maybe the same drag driver and i want to say when i actually move this at the top <coughs> the x position of this element should change so by default i'm going to say that the x position should change if i let's say move this vertically so i'm going to say if i move this somewhere here at 300 uh, x position this should go here and if i move it let's say somewhere far down here maybe at 712 the x position should go here and I can obviously position it outside as well if I want. And I can, instead of let's say positioning inside, I think uh, maybe outside is fine. So now it's, that's going to work as well. So if I basically move this up and down, as you can see, the icon is animating left and right. One other thing that's happening is if I actually, let's say, move it horizontally as well, as you can see, some of the colors are changing. If I move it up and down, the element is moving outside of the screen as well. So that's just a basic introduction of what drivers are. I can go ahead and I can explore some of the other drivers like the page and the scroll driver on principle if you want. But that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Do subscribe to hit the bell icon and add any comments if there are any clarifications needed. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.